What's going on YouTube? It is Professor Z and if you are seeing this right now, this can only mean one thing. New video! Let's go! I haven't done a video in such a long time. I'm pretty excited about this one. I hope you guys are too because I got a brand new project we're going to talk about. So let's dive in. The project we are going to talk about today happens to be one that I am one of the founders of. It is Ada Runners. This project is so awesome. We have so much in store. It's going to be a lot of fun, but I can't tell you everything, but I can tell you everything we have released so far. So let's dive in first to the white paper. So in our Discord, we have a channel called Links. It has the link to our website, to our Twitter, which is now known as X, to our white paper, and also to JPEG store for our keys. If you don't know what the keys are, I am gonna cover those in this video as well. But first, let's dive into the white paper and check it out. So when you click on the link, it brings you here. It shows you welcome, and it tells you kind of a little bit about us. And then we have our Ada Runners introduction. I'm not gonna read through all this, you guys can read through it yourselves. But basically what Ada Runners is, we are bringing the arcade to the Web3 world. It is going to be a lot of fun with what we have planned. The first game we wanna release is going to be a version of Pac-Man. It won't be named Pac-Man for licensing and third party issues, but the great thing is since all of our games and our platform is all being built from the ground up, with new coding, there is no issues whatsoever. And our dev team is Quantum Tech, which happens to be the Cardock Club dev team, which is incredible. These guys are absolutely killing it. We already got a little sneak peek of the game and it is fantastic. We cannot wait to release it to everybody so that everybody can play it. But right here, it kind of tells you basically what I just told you a little bit, but a little bit more detail. If you want to check it out, I strongly recommend it. Um, basically this project came to life because we all love arcade games. We're all kind of around the same age. So it kind of works out because we all have that experience of going to the arcade as kids, wanting to play, wanting to beat your friends, to get that high score and have your initials up there on that leaderboard. Absolutely incredible. But that's what we want to do. And we want to put a web three spin on it, right? Because instead of just bringing the arcade, letting you guys play that, you're going to be able to take ownership. You're going to be able to earn some money. I mean, it is going to be absolutely fantastic. A lot of fun. Now let's dive in to the roadmap. Now the roadmap, you know, it starts out. We want to distribute all the Ada runner keys. We are currently doing that. So I'll dive in more to what the, the keys are in a second. Um, then we, you know, we're focused on community building and entertainment. We are doing that. Uh, we are building our discord. We are now finally over a thousand, which is incredible. So happy for everybody's support. Really appreciate it. And we're doing a bunch of different things inside the discord too, to make it fun and entertaining. Y'all see my Christmas tree behind me, right? Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas. There we go. There we go. Merry Christmas. You know, love Christmas time. It's a great time. Phase one, let's play games. In phase one, we're building a website with the old school games like Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Pong, free to play for all. And we're also making a leaderboard that shows who's doing great in these games on Discord. Our first goal is to make sure everyone can enjoy these games and show them we mean business. So when our games first come out, phase one, you're gonna be able to play these games. Anybody can come in and play them, no issues whatsoever. Phase two, introducing Ada Runners. For phase two, we're launching our first batch of our Ada Runners collection. I'll show you some sneak peeks about of those in a minute. Our original goal was to release about 1,500 in our phase one mint. But after talking to some people, we're kind of reevaluating things. We're not sure if we're going to stick with 1,500 or maybe even move it up a little bit. Uh, we're going to see where the hype is, uh, see where we stand, see how things are going. And if we feel we can sell out more, we're going to sell out more in our phase one mint. If we feel like, nah, let's be conservative, stick with 1500, we'll stick with 1500. Those details we're kind of being fluid with. So bear with us in that. Um, keep interacting, keep trying to get those whitelists, those keys. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. In phase two of our platform, only people who hold our NFTs can play to earn by connecting their digital wallets in the future. So you can still go in and play these games for free, but if you want to play to earn our token, which is quarter, then 
you have to be a holder of our collection. Now we do have some part, we have a partner project that we're building a game for. I'll get more into that as well. Phase three of our uh, roadmap is the same thing I just talked about. Phase four, we're gonna launch quarter. So the after, so the phases is kind of kind of confusing, right? So phase four on the roadmap is separate from phase two of the platform. Phase two of the platform means that the staking and all that is live. You can earn quarter, stuff like that. Phase four of the roadmap, <laughs> we're going to launch quarter. So we're going to launch our coin, uh, which will be bootstrapped. Uh, part of the mint from our main mint in a liquidity pool matched with our coin to ensure it can be traded easily. So if people don't want to hold quarter, uh, they're just playing to earn, then you can go to the decks, you can sell it. Uh, we will have a, a Web3 uh, store inside the platform that you can spend quarter on as well. And then phase five of the roadmap, game tournaments with teams. We're going to have different tournaments with different projects going against each other, different teams going against each other. It's going to be a lot of fun. we got a lot of stuff planned. Uh, it's definitely going to be an adventure, and I'm excited for those who are coming on it with us. The platform is going to be fantastic. Um, I'll show you kind of a little bit about that, uh, what's released so far. And then you're on the platform, you're going to be able to build a profile. Now, the profile is going to show you your high scores on different games, right? Your statistics. You can change your nickname. You can change your avatar. Save changes, of course. But this is where you'll see all your scores, everything you've been able to do, where you place on uh, the leaderboard, stuff like that. The games, this is really cool. So this is the first draft of what the arcade room will look like. And as you can see, the games will be listed here. And once you hit play, it'll take you to those games. We have plans for a lot of different games on this platform. It's not just going to be the same two, same six. There's going to be a lot of different games that people can come on and play. Now, we're going to plan on releasing one game a month. Uh, that depends. That That's our goal. But that obviously depends on the dev team and their workload. Um, but it's, it's, it's awesome. It's going to be awesome. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing really else to say about that. We're going to have tons of games on this platform. Uh, the leaderboard will look like this. So you'll be able to put your name and what the game is and the score. So that's pretty cool. Cause it's going to show you where you place on that leaderboard, how much, how many points you have, and it's going to give people a goal to try to beat. So the rewards rewards are going to show like this right so when you play games in our community you earn points for doing well these points work in two ways okay so the first one it adds up to the lifetime leaderboard the second one works when you're staking to unlock a higher level of that staking platform i'm going to talk about that more in a minute and then another fun aspect of the leaderboard there's going to be a leaderboard that gives out, as you can see here, cool rewards like NFTs from different projects, C4, and more surprises. we got tons in store for you guys. Another cool thing we wanted to add to our platform is an advertisement section. Because, you know, projects who are just getting going, it's hard for them to get their names out, right? Especially if they're not well known in the space. Uh, so we figured, hey, if we have an advertising section, if people can come in, they can pay a small fee, and we can advertise their project. Now, the great thing is, it's not just an ad that's going to be on our platform. If people interact with that ad, they can earn more points and rewards by interacting with that ad. So it's going to be engagement, right? You're going to want to engage with that ad, learn more about this project so that you can earn more points and unlock different things. So we have two different NFT collections. We have our Ada Runner keys and then the main collection. So let's talk more about these keys. So we have three different levels of keys. We have bronze, silver, and gold. There's 200 bronze, 75 silver, 25 gold. The great thing about this is the gold is really rare. So you obviously want to try to get that. It also was going to come with more rewards in the staking hub. We also have a role in our discord where who, whoever holds all three keys gets the ultimate key holder role. And in this, if we want to test out a game we're going to release, we let them test it out first, which they got to do with our version of Pac-Man. So it's kind of beneficial to have all three keys and it's going to come in handy as well when phase two of our platform goes live. So holding a key provides several additional advantages. 
It's a guaranteed whitelist. Bronze has two whitelist spots. Silver has three. Gold has four. You get quarter airdrop. You get our token airdrop to you. A percentage of collection royalties. You get sponsorship opportunities in the future. Unlocking staking hubs. Leveling up the staking hubs. Earn C4. Right now, we are airdropping C4 on the first of every single month to our key holders. If you hold a key, you are going to get C4 airdrop to you. That is awesome. They already have a utility. You're already earning something by just holding a key. Keep that in mind. The reason I haven't dived into staking yet, because as you can see, staking is right here. We're going to talk about that. They're going to talk about that. Don't worry. Just wait. Now, the main collection, okay? The main collection, there's going to be 6,000 of our runners that are going to be out on the blockchain. That's all, That's it. We don't have plans to add more. 6,000 total, no more. Now, like I said, we are going. We are planning phase mints. We're not sure if there's going to be three different ones. So total to 6,000 or two, we're not 100% sure yet. Like I said, we are being fluid with how things are going. We are being patient. We're gauging the market things like that we're, we're doing it smart now the utility of these you can stake them we're gonna talk about that here a second be patient you get quarter airdropped you can enter into giveaways they're pfp worthy yes they are fantastic i love them i'll show you in a minute in-game store access remember you have to be a holder to get to the play to earn factor of our phase two of the platform which will include the in-game store. Leaderboard, access to tournaments, level up a staking hub. Now I've been keeping you guys on edge about staking. So why don't we just go ahead and dive into it? Now, this is where it can get a little confusing. So if you need to stop this video, if you need to rewind this video, please do so. If you have questions, ask me. I'm always, always, always happy, happy to answer any question that might come up. For staking, you have to have a key to unlock a staking hub. There's only 300 staking hubs, and each one has specific colors for the keys, right? So there's bronze staking hubs, there's silver staking hubs, and there's gold staking hubs. So if you hold a bronze key, you can unlock a bronze one. If you hold a silver, you can unlock a silver. If you hold a gold, you can unlock a gold. Get the picture? Perfect. Now, this is where it it gets interesting each staking hub is going to have a set set of levels it can unlock so if you look here bronze will have three different levels level one provides a 2.5 percent increase in the quarter pool level two offers a 1.5 staking boost speeding up the claim of staking rewards level three yields a five percent increase quarter pool now when we move down to silver silver has five different levels First three are exactly the same as bronze, but then you have level four provides a 2% staking boost, further ex expediting staking reward claims. Level five yields a 7.5% increase in the quarter pool, meaning you earn more quarter. Gold has eight different levels. So the first four are the same as up here, but when you get to level five, it increases from a 7.5 to a 10% increase in the quarter pool. Level six includes a 5% staking boost, further expediting staking reward claims. Level seven, a 15% increase in the quarter pool. Level eight provides a 10% staking boost, making staking reward claims even faster. So how do you level up your staking hub? Well, I'm so glad you asked that question. You are so smart. Look at these amazing questions. Basically, when you stake your runner into a staking hub, the points you earn from playing the games goes to unlocking the next level of the staking hub. So the more you and whoever is in that hub with you plays these games, earns more points, the faster you can level up. Now, there is a kicker. If you're like, oh man, we just got our gold to level eight. Psh, we don't need to play anymore. We're good to go. Mm -mm. It will de decrease over time. So if you're not constantly playing, keeping the scores up, keeping the level up, it's going to start dropping. So you got to keep playing to keep that up, okay? 
You can't just be like, ah, oh, I'm good to go and then sit there and do nothing. Nope, mm -mm, not gonna happen. So the NFT staking. So staking hubs come with a variety, or sorry, staking hubs come with varying locking periods. You have one week, two weeks, and four weeks. So once players lock their NFTs to a specific hub, they need to choose the duration for which they wish to stake. Okay, so you get to pick if you wanna be locked in there for one, two, or four weeks. If they opt out for a quicker unlock, they will forfeit 50% of the rewards. So if you lock it up for four weeks, after two weeks, you're like, oh, I'm done. I, I want to move to a different one. You forfeit 50% of those rewards. You don't want to do that. You want to keep it in there. Player score, we just talked about that. So I don't feel like I need to cover that again. Staking hub rankings, we talked about that too. Because remember, it drops. Rewards from staking. So staking rewards are distributed once your selected staking period ends. So if you pick one week, you get it after that week. Four weeks after the four weeks. It's important to keep in mind that the longer you choose to stake your NFT, the greater the staking rewards you will receive. The quarter obtained from staking serves as fuel for our ecosystem, enabling you to participate in games or purchase items from the in-game shop. Okay, now again, remember what I said about the LP pool option? Sorry, liquidity pool. I, I always say LP pool. It doesn't make any sense because P stands for, yeah, never mind. For those individuals who do not actively engage with the games or ecosystem, rest assured we offer a liquidity pool option. This allows you to conveniently buy or sell quarter as needed. Now, teamwork and collaboration. This is what I talked about with the points, right? You want to work as a team because if the more you work as a team, the faster you can unlock those additional levels of your staking hub. And then again, like I said, staking hubs will gradually lose points over time. So you want to keep playing these games. You want to keep that up. Now, whitelist and minting. Okay, so we have different things that work, right? We have our OGs, which are, uh, list, you got two whitelists. We have our whitelist role, which is only one whitelist. And then, of course, our key holders. So you have the, uh, you have the bronze, which is two, silver, which is three, gold, which is four. Those stack. So you can't stack the whitelist roll themselves, but you can get the whitelist roll, OG, bronze, silver, gold. You can have multiple bronze, multiple silver, multiple gold. You can stack up as many whitelists like that as you want, but you can only win the whitelist roll once. If you win it twice, we allow you to give it to a friend. And then of course the phase minting, like I talked about, these numbers are not solid. We are being very flexible. So keep that in mind too. Now let's check out our Twitter. So this is our Twitter. All these links, by the way, are going to be down in the description below, along with my Twitter or X account and Bofki, who is the other main founder. So if you want to follow us, you want to follow Twitter, our Ada Runners accounts as well, please do so because we are constantly doing giveaways, constantly doing different ways for people to earn keys. This is huge. We just partnered with Inmates to bring a game to our platform that is sponsored by them. It will have their traits in there. It will have their colors in there. It'll have their logos in there. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's something that kind of came to light on their space when I was on their space and we are able to do it, so we're doing it. This is gonna open up a whole new avenue for us. Any other project that wants to come on and get a game, hey, pitch us your idea. Let's see what we can do and Let's see if we can get worked out because th this is going to be really cool. So for this game, in order to play it, you have to have their token, which is going to be smokes. There's going to be a lot more details coming out. Um, so we'll wait till then to pitch out more of those ideas. But it's going to be a lot of fun. And as you can see here, the game is going to be incredible. This is our most recent sneak peek. Okay, so this sneak peek is really cool because it has the inmates right there. And we decided to do this sneak peek because of our partnership with them and also because they just had their female mint. But what I really like about our art that our artist Arcadia is doing, if you look, it kind of looks blurry, right? Or not blurry, but a little pixelated, right? That's on purpose. It goes along with our theme of arcades because arcade games were that little pixelated, right? So is our artwork. That is done on purpose it is done very skillfully this artwork is absolutely insane 
absolutely love it. And by the way, if you want to try to win a key after watching this video, go to our Twitter. We got that going on. And then we got tons of spaces coming up. We got three spaces. First one's today. Uh, so go set those reminders and jump in as well. But this is our Twitter X account, whatever it's being called now. I'll show you more sneak peeks in our Discord. This is our website. Okay, so right here, this is our website. When you go to it, obviously nothing is unlocked as of yet because we are still building that. But this is basically the, the rundown of it. Some of the sneak peeks here, um, our roadmap and everything right there. Now, when the games are live, you'll be able to click here. It'll take you to the game section. I'll do another video when our platform goes live. Leaderboard will take you to leaderboard. Rewards will take you to your rewards and profile will take you to where you can create your profile. Now, if you want to grab a key on secondary, you can do that. We got, there are some currently listed. Uh, looks like the lowest one right now is 135 for a bronze, 250 for a silver. And we don't have, oh, we do have a gold for 2,222 ADA if you would like to grab a gold key. You hear that music? You hear that music? That's on our website. That's on our website. We got music on our website. Yeah, buddy. So cool. So cool. I'm going to keep that going. Now, this is our Discord, all right? So there are, you know, I'm not going to show you all the channels, obviously, because there are things that I'm able to see that you are not. Uh, but we have, like, our information, okay? So go here. It's pretty quick. Announcements for our announcements. And then we have, so we have three different announcement channels. We're doing this on purpose. Announcements are going to be held for something that is really, really big. Community is something that, you know, it's like a smaller announcement, but we want the community to know. And then AMAs, these are where our spaces, any kind of voice chats we do are going to be announced. Now, when you go here, you have roles, all right? So these are all of our roles that we currently have. I got to add in uh, the ultimate key holder. That's not in there. But rookie, that's how, when you gain access. Raids, to get notified when there's a raid. Game Overlord. All right, so we have been tagging everyone, but we are getting away from that because I know people really don't like that. So Game Overlord is the role you want to have for when we do games such as poker, rumble, smash cards, uh, marbles, which we are currently doing. So make sure you go get that. And then these are our whitelist roles here. Official links, Ada Runner Keys goes into Ada Runner Keys. Staking information talks about the staking. Sneak peeks, here we go. All right, look at this one. I love this one right here. I love the Game Boy and I love the Cardano symbol. Like that is absolutely fantastic. This one's really cool. So we did the pipe, right? Released that one for uh, Mac Daddy. You know, he, he's, a, he's a big pipe guy, so got to have the pipe. Got the whiskey glass, which I'm very, very happy about. And the Tetris background, absolutely insane, mind-blowing. This is another cool one. You got the skull, the bones, uh, invisible hat, and another one right here. I love this background. It says game over, and then you got play runners. Like, that's pretty cool. Now this video is really cool here. So that was done by Arcada, who's our artist. Uh, all these traits, everything is hand drawn by the way. Um, so, I mean, it takes a lot of time. We are still adding some traits, still adding some one-on-ones. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot more still to come out. Got our whitelist information, NFT verification for our key holders, custom commands. So we do have our fun little bot in there if you wanna go play with those. Then we have our chat hub, we got our chats. Uh, competition hub. So this is where we do all of our competitions, okay? So we have currently going on, we got the Twitter proof for our latest sneak peek. So if you go in, to our sneak peeks here. And as Bofke said, right? So post on Twitter, be creative, post your tweet right there in twi uh, the Twitter proof. And in a week we'll go through and he will pick a winner for a key. And then we have our game section. So we have Rumble, 
poker, smash cards, our giveaways when we run giveaways, poker tournaments, C4 slots. We do have the C4 slot bot in our Discord. So if you have some C4, you want to go in and play, hey, go in, try to earn some more. It looks like uh, Commander here, he bet 100 C4 and got 115 back. Nice. And then we have marble signup. So we are running a marble competition inside the Discord. I have people come in, like I will post an announcement as you can see here, I tagged Gamer Overlords. 71 reacted, so those 71 are entered in for uh, Wednesday's race. Uh, race. And as you can see, I do post kind of updates. And these are the current top 10 rankings. Now, so for marbles, basically first place will get a gold key, silver and third will get silver, fourth and fifth will get bronze, sixth through 10th will get a whitelist. Now the reason I chose to do marble race is because I feel like that's more fair. Uh, it's not like a smash cart tournament where people who are really great at smash carts can come in, just absolutely dominate and get those higher rewards. This is all luck of the draw, which I absolutely love. But yeah, I mean, that's that's what we got going on right now. Um, like I said, the link for, for our Twitter account, discords, everything will be down in the description below. Please go check that out. Come join, come have some fun. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. Feel free to ask in the Discord. We are all here to help. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I'm really excited about this project, obviously. But yeah, that's Ada Runners. I hope to see y'all in there. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And until next time, I am Professor Z. Peace.